NBA players. Ashley Grayson has been found guilty on that murder for hire charge. I got the update. This is breaking news. Grab that tea. Have a seat. Let's get into this shenanigans, honey, because Ashley Grayson is on lockdown. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. So as previously reported, Ashley Grayson and her husband, Josh Grayson, were charged with murder for hire. Now, they are a social media couple, and also, Ashley has a very lucrative credit repair business. Now, the plot was revealed that she was trying to take out Derricka Hartwell, who was another uh, credit repair guru, and also her ex-boyfriend and uh, Sherelle Hodge, who was uh, making complaints about her credit repair business, honey. She was trying to take them out the game. There was uh, video evidence of this, and Ashley refused to take a plea deal in the case. So they went to trial earlier this week, and now she has been convicted. Now, Josh was found not guilty, but Ashley was uh, found guilty on that RICO murder for hire charge, and she has been placed on house arrest until July 12th when she will be sentenced. She is currently pregnant, so um, she will give birth to that baby before she is sentenced, I believe. But, hunty, I'm pretty sure she wishing like hell she had taken that plea deal in this case, honey, because she has officially been found guilty. I declare, what a disgrace. Now, just a little backstory on Josh and Ashley. They are a uh, social media couple. Uh, they went viral a few years ago when they got engaged in a very elaborate ceremony, honey. Monica was there singing a tune. Now, Monica has since come out and said she didn't know Ashley like that. She was just hired to do a job, but Ashley was trying to make it like they knew each other and was on a personal level. When indeed, Monica said that, hey, we don't know each other like that. I just got paid to do a gig and I did that gig and that's all that was. Now Ashley had a credit repair business and she claimed that it was very lucrative so much so that she said that she made a million dollars in one day and she wanted to teach other people about this credit repair business. She claims that she started this business uh, using funds that she had saved up from uh, her job working with, I believe, UPS or whatnot. But it ended up coming out in the Washington Arrangement that Ashley got hurt on the job and which she lost her fingers on one of her hands and she got a very large settlement and that is allegedly how she started the credit repair business. So let's get to the plot on how Ashley now found herself convicted on these murder for hire charges. Uh, according to prosecutors, Ashley bought a house for this girl named Olivia's mother and Olivia was trying to get her to basically put the house in her mother's name but Ashley was just skirting around the issue uh, but Ashley ultimately reached out to Olivia and said that she would do it if Olivia would help her with some problems that she had and these problems were uh, Derricka Hartwell who was another credit repair guru uh, her ex-boyfriend Patrick and Sherelle Hodges, who was a person that had purchased her credit repair expertise, but she was complaining all over Annalise Keaton's internet, saying that the credit repair business wasn't doing what she said it was doing. Uh, so uh, Ashley wanted to take that, them all three of them out the game. So she reached out to Olivia and was like, hey, can you help me out with this? And Olivia recorded uh, some of those conversations and allegedly turned it into the feds, and that's how we made it to this situation. Ashley and Josh were both negotiating plea deals. For some reason, they turned them down. So I'm pretty sure she's wishing she had taken that plea deal in this case because now she's convicted, and I believe she's facing up to 10 years, possibly 20 years in prison, plus a $250,000 fine. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Like I said, she's pregnant, uh, going to be giving birth soon, and she also has another baby that... I believe just turned one or is about to turn one. Child, this is re damn ridiculous and a hot boo boo shitty mess, but this is what happens when you get caught doing some fuck shit on video. Baby, you can't backpedal and pussy pop out of that video. All right, players, put it in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Double D Mo for the Black Accurate News.